what's going on guys matt manduke here if you haven't already subscribe clearly i am flying at reed's beach today and i filmed this a couple weeks ago and i'm trying to catch up because i got more drone footage than i know what to do with so i'm just you know using that for the videos for the day and i like these videos now that i'm narrating them because now i get to interact with you and you get to see some cool things so and remember kids if you like it like it down below it's a it's a format for me and my thought when flying here one i slept there that night and i when i woke up there was a chick that was photographing these birds that are like sitting on each post so after she was done i uh i wanted to fly the drone out and take a look at all these birds and then uh you know the the boat went by i went over the boat but i kind of got the idea that i was like hmm that's a decent subject and i wanted to go check out the boat well by the time i figured that out yeah, and I was doing a little, like, side stuff and whatnot, and just, you know, checking out these birds, and they were, they were kind of cool, and I do go back to them at the end, which is interesting. I just thought it was cool, because there was all, all the uh, the posts sitting up, and there was a bird on almost every single one. So, uh, strifing, or, you know, just going to the left there, it wasn't fast enough to keep up with the boat, and the boat did have a large head start on me. So I real quick flipped into sport mode and uh, hauled ass. And here you can see the jetty at, at Reed's Beach and how far out it actually goes. Now they did pave in between the stones for a good portion of it. I think there's a little bit at the end where it's still the old way that it used to be. It used to just be loose rocks. Yeah, so I got all the way out and the, the boat did still win that. But I did give them way too much of a head start as you can see. But also, there are some people fishing at the end of this, and I wanted to take a quick look at them. But I didn't want to, like, you know, hang out for too long, because people get paranoid about a flying camera, you know. People are weird about drones, and they're probably not that used to them. But see how it looks like it's all one smooth path? It didn't used to be that way. It used to just be loose rocks, and it was cool when I was a kid. We used to, well, not a kid, but when I was a teenager, we used to go out there just to, like, walk down the jetty, because it, it was cool. And uh, it, it still is cool, but it's not as cool because you couldn't actually, like, get your ankle stuck in a crack and, you know, break your ankle. Because you know, that makes things so much cooler. And on a windy day, that that's uh, entirely possible, but not really anymore. It's just a path out to the middle of the water, which I'm sure is cool for fishing. But it can't be that deep there or that whole idea wouldn't work. So then I fly up the road a bit so you can kind of see the beach that is Reed's Beach and you know the houses. The houses at Reed's Beach aren't quite as nice as they are at Kimball's Beach or any of the other bay beaches. But they're still high end as far as cost is concerned and it's interesting when you're down low when you're driving in. It looks like some of those, some of those trailers could actually fall into the bay. They're you know kind of shitty. And you can see some of the irrigation, and you know that on the grass there, if they're cut out like that, that it's intentional. It's not, you know, it's man-made, and so it's just been made that way. And, but, you know, it works, and so long as it works, it doesn't matter. We're trying to restore a lot of the things that we've destroyed as humans, so uh, trying to fix it after destroying it so many times is a good thing so we, we do still need that wildlife and we are in a place where we could have it now since i was flying around here i figured i'd check out the other side and there's actually like a, a marina type thing at the end here and so oh well I, I thought i was over that stuff but i clearly wasn't but yeah so i check out the dock and at the end of the dock, it's about as far as my range will let me go, and it's weird because sometimes it lets me go 2,000 feet, and sometimes it'll only let me go 1,000 feet, but away from me. 1,000 feet is, a, is still a good distance, and so I check out, you know, the, through their uh, parking lot and whatnot. It's, there's not a whole lot going on there, but it's uh, something to look at. And uh, I start getting nervous because they had this crane, and I'm looking for the crane, I can't tell, and I'm like 150 feet up, but the judgment of how tall things are is something that comes with 
uh, flying the drone over time and understanding that if you're 150 feet in the air you're not gonna hit too many things uh, there's like radio towers and stuff go up higher than that but uh the idea of a crane being 150 feet tall there are some in the cities but something here is doesn't have to be that big it's not going to have a boon anywhere near that large and so i'm like still looking for it i'm looking all around for the damn thing um but you get a nice overhead and you can see how it reads the beach how the, how the jetty really sticks out there and the end of the road there that's where i parked and i stayed there for the night but it was fairly high traffic in the morning and it's somewhat understandable because it was a good day to do some fishing and then looking down i'm like oh yeah that's that's the crane there and i'm like nowhere near it i'm way over it but the drone is a cool thing to be able to scout with. It is, it is very cool to be able to like get the overhead like that and see what's around. Expect before you like you know go on a walk and get into something that you, you don't want to. But since I still had some battery life left and the video is a little bit more than half over, I then you know I take it down. And I think I molest the bird some more. It is a beautiful view, is it not? This weekend, being the weekend that you're watching this, not the weekend that I film this, this weekend I'll be in Wildwood and at the car show, and it's going to take me a little bit for me to get that stuff together, but I do expect to be doing... Uh, I do expect to be releasing that stuff to you within the next week. It's not going to be immediate because you're still going to get Hungry Mondays and Drone Flight Tuesdays and Angry Wednesdays and... Uh, Hopefully by then I'll be able to quest for the best cheesesteak Thursday. Still need to find something to regularly do on Fridays, but I might be doing these videos because I do enjoy doing these videos. You can see the crane there. Because they're like I, I like to just see the different things that you can see. And the different view of the things you can see is interesting. Now, I didn't molest those birds and make them all fly away, but there were some that I got a little close to and they got nervous about it. And I remember that when I was flying closer to them, that they, uh, yeah, so yeah, as I get close to them, they're like, yeah, I don't think I want to mess with that. So I'm just like messing with my camera angles and I'm actually looking at the drone instead of just doing it with my, with the viewfinder on the screen. But look at it, how close I actually am because the camera kind of changes your perspective. Uh, like if you're using the viewfinder on the drone, it changes your perspective of where you actually are. But I wanted to get a really close up shot and I probably could have went to the other side of the birds to get a better shot of that, but that's not how that works. And then I switch around. This is where I start working on coming back to myself, but I do it very slowly. I thought Reese Beach was a very cool place to fly and it had a lot of things for me to like kind of pay attention to. It wasn't the most colorful or, you know, but it was still very interesting. It's a place where if you're in Cape May anyway, it's not very hard to check out. Reese Beach is off of Route 47. Uh, I think that's technically Goshen there. And if you're into fishing, it's definitely a place to check out. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see any of my other drone videos, you can go ahead and click on these videos here. Or if you want to find out how you can win one of three rings, you can check out these videos here. As always guys, I want you to like the video, subscribe, and I really want to thank you for watching because I wouldn't be able to do this without you. In fact, factually, I wouldn't do this without you. So thank you. I'll see all my friends later.